Hello guys, welcome back. I hope you watched the previous videos where I discussed about S3 as well as EPS. Now in this video, let us learn another storage service in AWS. So before going to that, let me ask you a question. Is it possible to attach single storage to multiple EC2 instances? Is it possible to attach single storage to multiple EC2 instance? The answer for this question is yes. It is possible to attach single storage to multiple instance. The question is can I attach any single storage to multiple instances is the question the answer for it is yes the answer for it is yes we can able to attach single storage for multiple instances let's say i have one instance here and another instance here and another instance here now what I am expecting is, I need a storage like this, I need a storage like this, where, where I just want to mount this storage to this EC2 instance as well as this EC2 instance as well as this EC2 instance also. I want to attach my storage to these EC2 instances. Let's say this is a storage. Now my question is, is there any type of storage like this possible? The answer for the question is yes. There is a storage where we can able to attach it to multiple instances at a time. So whenever we can able to attach the same storage to multiple instances when i process the data from this instance in this storage if the if i process the data from this instance can i able to see that change in data from this instance yeah i can able to see so let's say in my company i want in my company i want to use a same storage same shared storage for multiple EC2 instances based on operating system there they are categorized these shared storages are categorized based on the operating system which I am going to use in the EC2 instance these sharing storages are categorized into two types Okay, so let's say my operating system, let's say my operating system is, what are the operating, operating systems we have? Windows we have and we have Linux. These two are the operating systems I have. Now, what is the storage? What is the shared storage? What do we want? Shared storage for these two right yeah so aws classifies aws categorizes these storage shared storage into two types by using two types of services they provided the shared storage so what is the service for that i gonna use for windows fsx what is the storage that I'm going to use for Windows FSX? What does that mean, sir? It means file system service. It means file system service. Okay. For Linux, what is the storage service we use for Linux, sir? We use EFS is the storage service that AWS is providing us where we can use for Linux instances. 
if the instances are all are linuxes then i need to use the shared storage as efs if all my instances are windows then which storage service do i need to should do i need to use in aws i need to use fsx shared storage okay <clears throat> can i use this let's say all my instances are windows only window instances only window servers windows os is installed in all my instances okay then what is the shared storage that i use the shared storage that i use is i gonna use a shared storage as what i gonna use efs right let's say that efs was used for this st shared storage efs let's say i'm using this efs and these all are what linux ec2 instances okay now the question is can i use this efs can i use this efs as common storage for instances common storage for these instances which are present in different availability zone but in same region let's say these all instances present in same region let me take mumbai as the region in mumbai region all my instances are present where in mumbai region all my instances are present and this first instance is present in first availability zone that is ap south hyphen one availability zone and let's say the second instance is present in another availability zone that is ap hyphen south hyphen 1b availability zone and this third instance is present in ap hyphen south hyphen 1c availability zone so now can i attach can i attach this efs to these instances yes we can able to attach this efs to these instances which are present in same region okay now let's have a question what is that who manages this efs sir who manages this efs this efs will be managed by aws aws will manage this efs service for us then what we need to do in this sir we just do some configurations and click on create efs we just do some configurations and click on create efs then we need to attach or what do we say attaching that is nothing but this attaching is nothing but mounting we need to mount what are the created efs is there right that to how many instances you want those many instances you need to connect okay now if you place if you place let's say if i place a image file if i place a image file from one availability zone in this efs okay now you can tell me you can tell me you can able to watch that file in ebs from this one b region from this one b region instance can i able to watch that image file where i have uploaded from my one a region where it is uploaded it is uploaded at here let's say the file name is file1.jpg this is placed in the efs file storage now can i watch that can i watch that storage from 1b region yes you can able to watch since same efs right same efs is mounted in Mumbai region one a availability zone instance and this one b region instance also same efs is 
attach so that's why i can able to see the data here as well okay now what about fsxr it is also similar to this ebs only but this fsx is used for what what type of instances for windows instances only okay now you can tell me how this EFS will work, sir? In which protocol this EFS will work? This EFS will work with NFS version 4 protocol. Which protocol? NFS. This works with NFS version 4. NFS version 4 protocol based on this NFS version 4 protocol we gonna attach this EFS to our instances so that's why this EFS will work based on this NFS version 4 protocol okay what does this NFS stands for sir this NFS stands for Network file system. What does this NFS stands for? Network file system. Network file system. This NFS stands for network file system. Okay. EFS does EFS provides me an unlimited storage, sir? Yes. You can use how much amount of storage you want in this EFS. This EFS will provide you unlimited amount of storage. Unlimited amount of storage will be provided by this EFS. By this file system, this will provide you unlimited amount of storage. Sir, in previous videos, we have discussed about S3 and EBS, right? What is the difference between these three? S3, EBS and EFS or FSX. Now let's see the difference between them. Now you can tell me S3 is which type of storage? S3 is S3 is object based storage, right? Yes. S3 is object based storage. And coming to EBS, coming to EBS, which type of storage sir? EBS is it's a block based storage, right? It's a block based storage now what about efs or fsx fsx so what about these two come uh, these two comes under which type of storage sir these two comes under file storage which type of storage file based storage EFS and FSX comes under file based storage. Okay. If we want to share, if we want shared storage, then which is which service we need to use? We need to use either EFS or FSX based on the operating system. We need to choose which which service, which AWS service which we want. Okay. Who is the responsible for this? For providing this shared storage service services, AWS. Okay. On which protocol this EFS works? Sir? This EFS will works on NFS version four protocol. Okay. What does this NFS stands for? Network file system. Okay. Does this EFS will provide me an unlimited storage? Yes. This EFS will provide me unlimited storage. So now you can tell me is this EFS is regional or global? Is this EFS is regional or global? Since we cannot, if, if I create this EFS in Mumbai region, then I can able to watch this EFS only in Mumbai region. I cannot able to see this in Hyderabad region. So that's why I call this EFS as regional service. 
what do we call the CFS? It's a, let me write here, it's a regional service. It's a regional service. Okay. Now, now, let me ask you a certification question. Okay. Let's say, I created 100 GB of EBS volume. Let's say I created 100 GB of EBS volume. Okay. But I used, I created 100 GB of EBS volume. But how much I used? I used, I used only, let's say I used only 20 GB. In this 100 GB, I used only 20 GB in this EBS. Now, this is a certification question. Concentrate will listen. Now, for what, for how much amount of storage do I charge? For how much amount of storage do I charge it by AWS? 100 GB or 20 GB? I will be charged for 100 GB only because how much you create, how much storage you created, for that much amount of storage, you will be charged in EBS. How much storage you created, that much storage is, you will be charged in EBS. Okay. So, let us move back to this EFS. Now, can you tell me, in EFS, in EFS, do we need to pre-provision uh, pre the size of this EFS? No. We do not need to pre-provision the size of EFS. No need to. We do not need to pre-provision the size of EFS. How much amount of storage does this EFS allows us to store? unlimited amount of storage okay in previous do i need to provision any size of this efs no so let's say if i store 20 gb in this efs let's say if i store 20 gb in this efs then for how much amount do i need to pay for how much amount of size do i need to pay for aws just only 20 GB. For 20 GB usage only, I need to pay charge for this EFS service for AWS. Okay. Now, let's have a question. Can I mount, can I mount this EFS to multiple EC2 instances across multiple availability zones in a same region? Yes. I can able to connect this EFS to multiple instances which are present in different availability zones but in same region so let me ask you a question can i connect this efs to multiple ec2 instances across multiple availability zones but in different regions but in different regions can i able to connect no because this efs is regional so that's why i can able to watch this efs only in this particular region only so, this is all about a good intro about EFS. This is one of the file based storage which we gonna use in our AWS. And FSx is also a shared file based storage. These services are provided by AWS where FSx we need to use for Windows. And EFS we need to use for Linux instances. Okay. I hope you understood this video. And you understood what are the shared file based storages. And for Windows what you need to use. And for Linux what shared storage you need to use. I hope you understood. And by using which protocol does this 
shared storage will be connected to our instances that's also you know and how much amount of storage does this efs provides you know is this regional or global is also you know so i hope i answered mostly all the questions in future i gonna show you in practical in aws lab so i hope you understood this video thanks for watching please if you like the video please like share subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates thanks for watching again see you back in the next video with another topic until then bye bye